Hey there, people! Ice Knight here today with another Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth playthrough. And first off, I'm embarrassed to say this, but I made a screw up. <sighs> I accidentally deleted the save file of what happened the last playthrough on complete and utter accident while doing grinding. It, it, ugh, I never felt more embarrassed by it. So, I literally went from the beginning of the game, getting back to where I was, and grinding, and now to ensure that that won't happen again. I have an extra save file on standby, just in case. You're welcome. Now then, for the first part here, I tried to keep the team somewhat the same as normal. We have the same avatar as AOA back to somewhat of her original level. Then there were all of these guys who I just got up to ultimate, and then I was just like, Alright, once I get all these guys up to ultimate, I'll pick my team. Now then, for those of you who don't know, I have a rule, and that is I must have a vaccine, virus, and a data on the team at all times, no matter how much party memory they take up. So, out of all of these, I think, for my virus type... It, I'm gonna go with War Groundmon for the virus type. And for my vaccine... I'm feeling more of... Angelomon. Now that we got this team start, set up, let's get going. Alright, so in case you guys don't know, I also triggered a little bit of a thing. I have to go to this place called Shinuba. Don't be surprised if I butcher that pronunciation, but let's get going. What do I have to do here? Okay, from right off the bat, I already see that there's a person in the crosswalk. Pitiful high school girl. Why does no one pay attention to me? They never noticed me. Not one person. Um, but you're right there. But woe to thee who finds the entrance, entrance there. Um, what in the world? For if you make it, you will only meet despair. Don't, don't mind how... She scares me. What was that? Is she a glitch? New case added. Scramble pentagram. No. We have to summon our lord, Satan. So, you're the president of the Induan Occult Research Club, correct? Yes, and my name is May Karastral. All right. What have you got for us today? Well, I was wondering if you could help run an experiment to test an urban legend and see whether it's true or not. Oh, so I like the sound of that. It's not something we get around here every day. Anyway, what legend do you have in mind? Well, it's called Shiba Haruka, and it goes like this. At the Shiba Scramble intersection, there are five hills, each of them going to separate in a separate direction. Don't mind my cringy singing here. Please don't mind it. You spent five different people up. One on each road along those hills. Then you have them all head towards the scramble intersection. As I sing the Hark song, so that wasn't even a song. Uh, uh, sorry to put you guys for that cringe. If everyone makes it to the center of the scramble intersection at the same time as they finish singing, what? Do their wishes come true or something? No. 
A dead person is brought back to life. <laughs> what? Huh. Can't say I've heard that one before. Remind me of some old Shinto stories. I can see what makes the legend so appealing, though. You have to make it to the center that consists of a crowd while singing. Pulling it off sounds like no mean feat. Indeed, we've tried at the club several times, but we've always either bumped into people or get held up by a traffic light. But we've heard rumors about your organization, so I thought you could see if you could help us somehow. Rumors? Like what? Oh, like, uh, there's... Detective agency in Nanako dealing with the occult that has a uh, supernatural ties to another world. <laughs> we have supernatural ties to another world, but let me tell you something. I don't think it's the one that you're looking for. And if you go to it at 2.22 a.m., there's a door that the other world shows up and stuff like that. Um, where do they hear these stories? Jeez, I know we work in the shadows here, and all. Oh, but to think we're so infamous for having people make up urgent legends about us, just... Don't take it the wrong way, but still, we could prove that the legend is true. It could be... <laughs> It'd be a real boon for my club. What do you think? I know your main work here is hunting down ghosts and spirits, but will you do it for us? Wait, what? Hunting down ghosts and... Where do people even come up with this stuff? Now, you really got me curious. Well, my assistant doesn't know a thing about it. Yeah, I don't know where I heard it either. <laughs> Silly me. Don't worry about it. We'll take it up. We'll take up your case. We need a little time to get ready. So could you wait for us elsewhere here in this in the building? Oh, thank you so much. I have other members coming too, so I'll just wait outside for them. <laughs> Looks like we've got another weird case on our hands. You don't say. But a case is a case. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do? I'm going to start preparing for our Shinaba Harka experiment. Why don't you go talk to the other club members and learn more about the legend? Excuse me, I have to meet with people who are weird just like me for a minute. Okay, we got all the information we need from the people, now we're at the intersection. Now then. <clears throat> Can everyone hear me? We're going to commit to verifying the legend of Shinaba Harakas anyway. I've hacked into the cameras to scramble the intersection. I'll be watching you all from here and giving you commands as necessary. Keep your eyes and ears peeled and be ready for anything. <laughs> Um, I don't know about that. Just, no? No? Why? Why did I listen to them? Oh? Why doesn't anyone pay attention to me? Or maybe they actually do notice me. Uh, um, uh, um, um, who's, 
idea was it to do this ritual again? Because... Hey, stand still. I can't live here anymore. I can't live and be here anymore. So, I'll... Um... Whoa! How are you? How long have you been to here? I'll die and remain here. Here at the bottom of Shioba, in the other world. She vanished! Ah! What's going on? What's going on here? Where did you come from? What are they for? What am I seeing? Uh, hey! What's going on? Come in! Ice! Uh, um, there appears to be some sort of satanic ritual going on. Don't mind it, I think we got it under control. There's only four of them. Um, what just happened? That was a close one. If we didn't hear your voice just now, that truck would have... Are you alright? What happened? Fill me in. Wh what was that? And now everything's going back to normal. What's happening here? Um, guys, let's not do this ritual again, please. I don't want to summon Satan. We owe Detective Matoshi a lot for helping us out. Again, not, not only did he restore calm, but he also took the truck driver in for questioning. Apparently the driver didn't see any of you until right before you all were nearly hit. But there were... But here's where it gets strange. The crowd in the intersection saw you the whole time, but nobody responded to their warnings. It's like you guys couldn't see or hear anything that was going on around you. Actually, yeah, that's how it was. We didn't know that there were still other people around until your assistant spoke up. And this girl happened to be at the high school student you saw there, right? It's her! What? De? What? I told you guys, meddling with the occult is dangerous. Yeah, definitely. She's the one for sure. I see. Well, that settles it. What do you mean? Who is she? She was a high school student who was killed there three months ago in an accident at the scrambled crossing intersection. She died in- She died in the accident for real? Yep. She's even hit by a truck. Doesn't make any sense. We saw her with her own eyes right in front of us. She came back to life. Huh? Don't you remember how the legend of Shinaba goes? Hmm. So what you saw, five saw back there, was the dead brought back to life then. I don't even. I did a little research. Shinaba is a very. A valley of... It was cut off from the Shinaba River itself. Which itself runs in, under the scrambled intersection. Rivers are common. Borders and myths and religions. Between this world and the next. There's the Sanju River in Japan. The River Stags in Greece. I don't know how to say that. I'd say you guys got caught up in one such place today. There's a lot of names you can call it, but in the end, it remains the same. Anyway, case closed. We set the proof. We set out the proof. Uh, Shinaba Hakas is real, and we did. And, you know, whatever. Really? We're just going to leave that girl alone? Is that what you want to ask? Hmm, you may be confused about our role. Don't forget, we're not ghost hunters, we're not exorcists, 
that's not what we do. We're cyber sleuths. No more, no me less. I would appreciate it if you remember it from now on. And please don't drag my assistant into your occult doings, because, you know, I kind of need him alive. Stay safe on your way home. Don't get into any accidents. For real now. That is all. Hmm. Well, the case is over and done with for now. Although, I know you didn't get a chance to really use your powers. But I figure if you had to use them in front of those kids, that would have spawned another urban legend. <laughs> I'll kill every... If I kill everyone, they'll make me lucky. And if everyone dies, they'll make me happy. I'm scared. So next up, we're going to Eden. Because you know what? I just talked to Kermi here. She said that um, there's something going on here. I want to go see what it's like at the entrance. <laughs> So to Eden we go. Entrance. Anything new? Um, Eden entrance. Okay, doesn't seem to be anything new. There is the shop up here. Oh wait, 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 wait! No, no, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was completely wrong. But mom, I swear there's something right there. I just felt it. Sweetie, look behind you and check for yourself. See. Nothing. Don't worry about it. Ah, the ignorant mother. Such a fun little trope. There's an anonymous post from my Digiline. Stop looking at me! No reply. Um... Yo! We got another case in the occult club. This one looks personal, though. I think those guys might have taken a, uh, liking to us, given that we deal in the strange and unusual... Okay. Okay. And you know what? Just get back here before I break these kids! Hey, nice to see you again, Mika. What brings yourself here? Well, anything... See, I might be caught up in a cybercrime. Oh, thank God! I don't want to deal with Satan again! I can't really... There's some supernatural elements involved, I think. I understand. You made the right choice in coming to us. All right, give us the beats. Okay. Take a look at this. It's a log on my Digiline. All right, let's see what you've got. Sigh. Should I go to my club tomorrow? They claim they do research, but all they really do is hang out and talk. It's only a club because everyone's there a similar interest and you know that one girl Becky is such a You know what? No, no, no. I'm better than her. I'm not going to talk about her. I'm not going to even mention her I probably should have rolled in something a little more serious to go on to that too Because you know what? I think I'm getting a bit too old for this occult club stuff, you know I I'm finally getting out of my edgy teenage years and eh. Uh, and I could really use a lot, mainly new boyfriend too, of that ice kid in the detective thing is pretty cute, isn't he? <laughs> oh my gosh, did I just write that? <laughs> uh, what's so special about this? Yeah, what's so special about it? And wait, what? Keep going, you'll understand why. <laughs> could Kaneki have a crush on me or on me? What? 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 Did I just say Kaneki? Or, no, it's Kenji. LOL, no way. She's too, she has a one-track mind. She can't think of anything else but occult stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's such an ass. <laughs> He has a real hot knit right in front of him, but nickel, not gonna take it. Maybe I should.
should seduce him. Um, why do I have to read this again? I mean, I've got the goods. I'd give him a peek any time. Hmm, how do I put this? Your posts aren't very... pulling any purchase punches here. Putting my personal opinion aside, I otherwise don't see what's wrong. They look normal to me. Uh, the thing is, I didn't write that stuff. You could've just said that! You just could've said it! Could've said that for some reason, my thing is writing my thoughts itself! Posting them! You did not have to share this with us! What? That's my response. They just randomly showed up, but they freaked me out so badly I just, I ha that I deleted them. I hear you. Then this doesn't mean your account was probably just hacked. Just some two-bit hacker did it to screw with you, maybe. Or your computer was infected with a... No, it isn't anything like that. Uh, what's the supernatural part you mentioned about these posts? Does it have to do with Satan? Um, some more of your cult club stuff? What is it? Seriously, tell me here. Before I snap. Yeah. I wasn't the one who wrote those posts and put them online, but they are how I feel. What you see written there is stuff that I think about, but don't express out loud. I hear you, sister. I love to do that. So can you please do me a favor, and if you come up with a problem, just say, hey. For some reason my thoughts are randomly typing. You don't need to say, you don't need to let us read them. Especially about boyfriends. And seducing someone. Okay, I get you. Stuff like that's hard to share, but with any club member, basically. Right. Hmm. Same here in the occult club. I'm sure you know about Oja boards and whatnot, right? Your hands move against the wall, sending you messages, spiritual world, yada yada yada, blah blah blah. You get the point. What did you do? Uh, you should sleep sun. Okay. Okay, then what? My baby's a gimmick. It's from... I can't really put my finger on it. There is something called that. Mystery studies, blah blah blah. Well, what are you talking about? Uh... uh sounds like you're thinking I have a split personality. Did you not hear any of this complicated stuff that I just said? Well, no. I, I guess it makes sense if I'm writing those posts at night without realizing it. That would explain it, but uh, maybe that really isn't it. I've honestly been worried it might be deep down. Uh, uh, this is awkward. Hmm, maybe we should take a look at this. Just try and find me. Satan, is that you? This was just posted onto your account. It's a reply that I wrote on your digiline. You're the culprit. I'm a detective who's taken up Maker's case. No, track you down. And you've been warned. If I find you, I will kill you. Well... This conversation unfolded online as you and I were talking while you weren't touching any terminals. This means you're not the one behind those posts, let alone any mental disorder of yours. The real culprit is out there somewhere. So basically, I made all of these happen for one simple reason. I'm going to send my buddy here to help you investigate all of this. <laughs> So now then, even though this is how you really feel, we're going to have him log on and do it here. All right, gotcha. Now then, if you will please just go home, I'll send him after the culprit. All right, here, Ice, you're here now. Let's just make sure we get this case over with. 
We don't know what's going after that girl's account, and I really... I hope... What's wrong with you, honestly? Tell me. Are you alright? Uh, no. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I had to listen to that girl's mind for a few minutes, and let me tell you something. I am already ready to break her neck from just having me do this case. Do you know how peeved I am? Oh, trust me. You don't want me to talk about that. Well, anyway, uh, we have our own little decoy here. I need you to do some things. Let's track down the person who hacked into her account. Pretty please? Oh, and having Pete help you. Pete, who the hell? Oh, hey, it's you, Fuzzy! Wait, is your name Pete? Okay, your name's Pete. I'm gonna call you Pete. Pete, Pete, Pete. Pete! Pete's back! Okay, he wrote their scent. Turns out the messages had traces of Digimon in them. Can't fool me! So it wasn't Lucifer. Alright. 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 I owe that girl an apology. But of course, that's why I brought you on board. Sorry to keep you waiting. I just did what you asked, posted the message on my Digiline, but am I really going to be okay doing that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Curious what you wrote, aren't you? It's fine, I'll tell you. She confessed her love to the hacker and also mentioned she really wanted to meet him. Oh, good. Good. I don't want to hear her diary. Blunt hacking skills. Yada yada yada. Make sure you get this guy down. Okay, this is the culprit. We need this culprit down, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. Okay, her avatar, blah blah blah, all this stuff. Why am I even telling you this? You should already know what to do. Alright? Just basically, security is supposed to be tight. Now then, let's make sure that things go right. I smell him. He's close by. What you smell, Pete? Good timing to investigate the surrounding. And get this person out of his foxhole. Finally, I can move. Yay! This is gonna be fun somewhat. I can finally go hunt down this little fox. And I have a feeling that this is it. Right there! Right in front of you! Hurry up and do a scan! Yes, we've got you now, Buster! You're not going anywhere! Um... Ugh. For real? How'd you find me? Uh, I don't know. Knew it, the culprit's a kid. Don't call me a kid, that's rude. Hey, wait a minute! You're the one who spotted me here before, aren't you? Crap, how'd you notice me? You're not supposed to be able to see me at all. Oh, so... That's what happened, huh? Eh, my little sensi... My little assistant is sensitive digital ways with special networks by the call, but basically, he's like a bloodhound for crooks like you. So, you couldn't get through that. And now we've got you cornered. Uh... Does that mean you want to make me a detective too? Whoa, you're so hot. I'm guessing he's in his 13s. Yeah, whatever, just answer my question already. Who are ya? How did you achieve such a complicated... Uh... I'm what you call a genius... A what? I don't know. Not some lonely hacker or program. Do you know about the Boko Reborn service? It's a special service here on Eden. Case, it's usually... Just... How can I summarize this? Um... I'm basically the guy who runs a special service here on Eden. Um, what? Uh, I'm having trouble complimenting this, but, you know, whatever. You don't have to act so surprised. Kids are just attuned to the digital world more than adults. A little kid, he's the culprit, uh, gets he, um... I'd never guess it would be someone so young. Um, um... You don't want me to talk. What? Uh, well, you see here. Huh? Why did I do what I did with her account? 
uh, who cares? At the stage? I won't do it again, and I promise to even apologize for it later. I'll even give her some conclusion money. Wait, well, hold it. Conclusion money? So just leave me alone. You know, I just remembered we've met on Eden. We've met here on Eden before, haven't we? We talked up for a little bit while I was waiting to meet a friend, right? Why did you do all that mean stuff? You're so smart, you should have been able... You shouldn't be out committing crimes. Um, yeah? You're, you're right, I'm sorry. That's what I was hoping to hear. See, you're a good kid at heart. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think I know what's going on here. Are you staring at? I did it all right. I apologize. Let's call good, then shall we? All right, we still have work to do. I'm saying URL to the Bakker Reborn service now. We're going to resume our hunt. Only our goal here is to capture rather than kill our target. Monica, I want you to go back. It's too dangerous for you to stick around. My assistant will take care of everything from here. All right, finally, some action. I get to do stuff. We don't know how the place is going to react once we get there, so you better be prepared for anything before we go. Okay, I'm here. Um, I just magically teleported. No need to do anything else. Anyway, I got into a battle. Fairly interesting over here. Let's see what this got. It's a Clockmon. Alright. I'll take it on. Hi there, Clockmon. There it is, our own, our one and only Bucko. From the look of it, uh, that kid's program managed most of the wild Digimon. I, I don't know what to say about that. Um. It's no use trying to read it. The programs erase whatever traces were left to that Digimon's in sentence. This Digimon's... Okay, so basically it's a possessed Digimon by a program. So, what do I gotta do? Find it? Okay. This is the data type. Uh, let's see. Celestial Arrow will take care of that. Sniper Shot. And... Where's Pokemon? I'll give you a big hug. Big hug. Big hug. Yeah, I like War Grandma's design. He's, he's pretty nice. Okay, from now on, downloaded and beat up with Dish Kitten. Hard to believe such a little kid would do. Horrendous, huh? I guess I see where you're coming from. Even if he didn't mean harm by it, what he did certainly broke the law. But that's all past now. We've exercised your account of that little stalker that haunted it. The case is closed now. We'll be holding on to the Baku program. In the meantime, if we can tune it up a bit, it would be very well come in handy. I still don't get it. Why did he go after me in the first place? Um, okay, let's see. Just speak to him once. He's a young boy. I have a feeling he likes you. At first, he probably just wanted to go to get to know you more of his heart, but as we saw, he was less mature than he'd like to admit. He wanted to tease and mess with you so you'd pay attention to him. At his age, it's pretty standard mentally towards someone like you, really. That was so fun. Let's hop out again. If something else comes up, okay? I think it'd be pretty cool to be a detective cat Digimon like that. Meow. I'm a kitty cat. Give me some catnip. You definitely helped us out there, Pete. So you have my thanks, Pete. Anyway, you're still not able to actually leave the confines of the Nanakal Broadway internet. Yeah, I think it has to do with how old the network protocols are for the internet. Or, it makes it hard to transfer data around. It could be I'm just stuck in the vacuum tube computer, like how Baku was to that Digimon. 
Okay, so now we have Pete on our side. He's gonna be useful. Um, wasn't he always on our side? Shh, shh, shh. I had to bribe him, my young student. You need to learn how to bribe a Digimon properly. Huh? Why do we call Pete Pete? Well, he's a cat. He was extracted from his own life capsule, where he was frozen to sleep and deep from all that time. Open through the doors, and you're bonded to. Do you really need a reason? Unlike the digital world, the real world is filled to the brim with things that we have no real reason for being what they are. It's simple in life that you were entitled humans to do... Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying here. 